Why isn't fascia part of mainstream medical curriculums? Honestly, it's because fascia research is still very young. Most of what we know now about its sensory intelligence, its relationship with the nervous system, and its body-wide communication network has only emerged in the last 15-20 years. Medical and engineering textbooks update slowly, and the curriculums update even slower. For a long time, we didn't even have the imaging tools or scientific language to study fascia as a living, reactive organ. It moves, responds, stores patterns, and remembers. Only now are people realizing that fascia might be one of the most important systems in the whole body, yet it's barely taught. Now, I'm not claiming to be an expert, but fascia is something I've been studying on my own and with a posture and biomechanics specialist for the last five years. What I've learned is that fascia does so much more than hold your organs in place. It does more than just fill the spaces between structures. When you care for your fascia, you care for your whole self, your physical body, and your emotional body. People often say that the body keeps the score, but have you ever wondered where, what part of the body actually holds the score? I'm here to tell you, it's in your fascia. There isn't a huge amount of literature on this yet. What exists, I've studied it. More importantly, I've used it to heal myself. I want you to know that fascia work isn't just theoretical. It can change your posture, your gait, your pain levels, your breath, your emotional patterns, your entire relationship with your body. And honestly, it's freaking fascinating. If you're into healing, alignment, movement, emotional release, or just learning how your body really works, make sure to follow along. I'm going to try to share everything I've learned. I hope it serves you well too.